A Postmaster General Louis DeJoy is scheduled to testify before the House Oversight Committee. He's going to be questioned about the changes he's implemented since he took the job. Some say those changes will directly impact the November election. Charlene Cristobal is joining us now with more of these details. Charlene. Yeah, and so we told you about the letter that the Postmaster General sent a little earlier this month to several states, including Indiana, saying that delivery delay delays meant that they could not guarantee that your mail-in ballot would make it in time for the November election, even if you followed your state's deadlines that they have in place. So it created a lot of controversy here. The postmaster cited some financial issues within the agency and the changes he was implementing that are controversial were organizational ones to help with those issues. On Saturday, the House passed a bill that would give the USPS $25 billion. Not only would the bill fund the Postal Service, it would restrict any actions, any changes that would impact election mail. There's more than three billion dollars going to that alone. Now, there had been a lot of criticism that the actions the Postmaster General had put in place were slowing down the mail, and that could have a big impact on the election. Things like getting rid of mail processing equipment and the blue collection boxes. Last week, though, DeJoy said that he put a halt to all of that, saying that he would wait until after the election, but Democrats wanted it in writing. Republicans, meanwhile, say the post office doesn't need the money or this bill. The Postal Service has over $15 billion cash on hand. That's enough to keep it solvent until August 2021. If the Republicans in the Senate refuse to take it up, they're just going to have to answer to their own constituents uh, why they don't want their mail delivered in a timely fashion. Now, the bill did pass in the House. It is not expected to do the same in the Senate. Meanwhile, Senate Major Minority Leader Chuck Schumer announced the subcommittee will be investigating the Postal Service's changes, even though, again, they are being deferred. The USPS also released a statement last night saying parts of the bill, quote, will constrain the ability of the Postal Service to make operational changes that will improve efficiency, reduce cost, and ultimately improve service to the American people. Now, DeJoy will appear before a the House Oversight Committee at 10 this morning. It is virtual. We'll let you know what happens. For now, I'll send it back to you.